Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily English Show. Today's mistake comes from the Auckland City Council's website. It's off an activity sheet for kids. You'd think a big organisation like that would have a system of checking documents before publishing them, so I guess this one just slipped through the cracks somehow. They're asking questions about a park, and one of the questions says, what are two types of eels that can be found in the lake? Can you see the mistake? Yes, that's right. Apostrophe S is used for the possessive. For example, did you see the colour of that eel's tail? But in this case, it's not possessive, it's just plural, so you don't need an apostrophe. The site I recommend today is called Extra Normal. On the site, you can make cool little movies just by typing in the dialogue and choosing stuff like the characters and the backgrounds. So it could be a fun thing to play around with. And if you're a teacher, it could be a cool activity to do in class. You could get your students to write a script and then make a little movie. And you can follow the link to go and check out the movie that I made. It's amazing. Kia ora, in stick news today, a dog in the UK survived a 90 metre fall off a cliff. On the 14th of February, a dog was chasing a seagull at the top of the Seven Sisters Chalk Cliffs in England. The dog ran off the top of a 90 metre cliff. Rescuers say the dog fell straight into the sea, but there was just enough water to cushion the fall. They said the dog suffered a shock and a partially collapsed lung, but looked in good shape. And that was Stick News for Wednesday the 24th of February. Kia ora. Today's word is spoon. This is a spoon. And do you know what the verb to spoon means? Let's go to the Urban Dictionary for this one. A cuddling position where the back is facing the chest and the couple are lying on their sides. Like spoons. Air New Zealand has designed some new planes, which I think are starting to fly later on this year. And part of the plane has seats that you can turn into kind of couches. So if you're traveling in a couple, you could lie down and cuddle your partner. So some people have been wondering how the airline staff are gonna make sure that people aren't doing more than cuddling. So here's a bit of a guide which tells you that spooning is okay but forking is not. And by forking, they mean something which sounds like forking. Do you get it? What's Air New Zealand like? Really? How come? How did you get to Japan? I don't know. I've never flown in New Zealand. Yeah. Well, actually, I might have on a domestic flight, but I haven't on an international flight. I think they're usually more expensive. Uh, Cathay Pacific, Korean Air, uh, Ever Air, I think it's called. Yeah, if you go via somewhere in Asia, then it's usually cheaper than flying direct. Which is correct? How many bikes do you have? A. Why does she own so many bikes? A. What's wrong with your bike seat? B. My bike's been stolen. B. His bike's tires had all been slashed. B. And that was the Daily Englisher. See you tomorrow. Bye.